I was recently on a trip to Las Trancas, Mexico, where I was teaching a workshop, and I captured some images, and I want to show you my editing process by using one of the images I took. This image happens to be of a horseback rider in the dust. He was uh, wrangling some horses, but um, it's a good image, but it could be better, and I think through On One, it's going to really make it pop, so let's get started. I'm going to launch this image into Perfect Effects, and as you can see on this left hand side there are a number of presets that I have available to me that I can use and each one of them offer a different unique look. Now when I approach editing an image I usually look at it piece by piece so this ground area would be one piece this middle part with the subject the dust and the horse and then up here in the clouds and sky with the tree would be a second a third part rather. I'm going to start from the very top I'm going to go into here and filters, graduated filters that is, and I'm going to start by adding a neutral density filter. You can see it appeared here in my stack, graduated neutral density filter, and it comes in default over the sky and you can see that it's horizontally level, but I don't want that. So I'm going to, I'm going to make this really dark so you can see that line. And then what I'm going to do is rotate it so that's at the same angle of that dust line. Back it out a little bit. And then I can change where it falls vertically. There we go. And I'm going to decrease the strength because I don't want it to be so dark that it, it's a hard transition, but dark enough to mix well. And I'm going to soften that transition up. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, that looks good. I'm going to come up here and add another empty layer in my stack. And again, I'm going to add another neutral density filter. You can see it came in the same way. Make it nice and strong so you can see it. And again, I'm going to rotate. This time I'm going to put it on the ground. So I'm just going to back it up right about there. Increase the transition. And reduce its vertical space. Right about there. All right. So now I'm going to add, again, another empty layer in my stack. There are a number of presets in here as well that have different variables, different kinds of looks. This is, happens to be movie look options. And I'm just looking at the previews because this can be really helpful to get an idea of what it's going to look like. Now I'm not really keen on any of those for this particular image so I can come up here and close that out. Go into maybe landscapes and see what options are here. I'm going to click on the golden hour enhancer. That looks good. I'm going to back it out just a little bit with my bar here. Now also what I could do is maybe use my one of my masking tools to isolate the horse and rider and I'd rather have it inverted so the sky stays blue and this guy stays yellow and the dust stays yellow. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to turn that on and off so you can see it. There we go. I'm going to take it down a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to add another. I'm going to scroll down here. Now Magic City is actually uh, a preset that makes everything just a little bit more poppy, a little bit more contrasty overall. Now that is way too much for the overall image. I think I just want to use it down here on the ground. So again, I can come back over here to one of my masking tools, click on it, rotate, and invert. So now you can see that it's just here on the ground. And I'm going to back off the strength the amount a little bit by using my slider in the stack here. And then I'm going to add another empty layer. 
looking good so far. All right. And I'm just going to scroll through again some more of these presets, but I think that's about it for the landscape. I'm going to go back to my graduated filters, and there's a graduated blue filter up here if I want to make that sky poppy. So I'm going to click on it. And again, we're running into that same issue of it coming in the standard horizontal. So I'm going to rotate so it's in line with my sky. I'm going to change where it falls right about there. We're going to increase the transitional mark here. Looking good. And this base saturation, it's affecting the entire image, just so you know. It's not just the transitional filter. So if you mess with that slider, the base saturation slider, it's going to affect the entire image, not just the filter. Now the strength the strength bar affects the amount the filter shows. So I'm going to back it out a little bit. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is come back here into my stack and add another empty layer. Click out of here. Go into sharpen. And I like the amazing detail. So I'm going to throw an amazing detail filter on there. I can increase the strength. I'm just going to back it out so you can see that as well. All right. Add another empty layer. And you can see that there are a number of other sharpening tools, but I think that's going to be enough for now. And then there are other options here. I'm just going to open them up. Vintage, for instance, gives you various different looks. You've got the Holga and this Honky Tonk's actually kind of a neat little filter. I like to use these in various portraits or even some landscapes they are applicable, but maybe not for what I'm doing with this image. So I'm going to come up here and exit out, go into Sunshine, and you can see there's a Golden Hanser again, Radius, Radiance and Sun Glow, but I'm going to go here to Warm Highlights. Click on it. And you can see it changed the cloud, so I'm going to come here to my amount and you can see that. But it also affected the dust exposure. Again, I'm going to hit another empty stack. I am going to come up here to Brightness. And there's a lighter option. I'm going to hit it and I'm going to use this masking tool. Make sure it's at the right angle here. Invert it. And now you can see it's brightened the section I want the, the viewer to go to, but it's a little too bright for my taste, so I'm going to taper it off. And the more I look at the graduated blue filter, the more I'm maybe not so pleased with it. But I can come back, turn that option off, turn the others on and see what it looks like. But I kind of miss it, so I'm going to turn it back on. Okay. There we go. And now I'm going to add another empty layer. And I'm going to hit Shadows Darker. All right, now I'm going to back that off. I'm going to leave it for the entire image. That looks pretty good. I'm going to come back down here to the graduated blue filter and hit my masking brush. And I'm going to hit Paint Out, Feather at 100%, and Opacity at around 20%. I'm going to use my bracket key, my left and right bracket key, to increase or decrease. And I'm just going to soften the line between the sand and the sky. I feel it's a little too harsh. Alright, that looks good. Come back here and turn my other stacks on. Alrighty. 
add one last final layer in my stack. Come down here to Vignettes and Darken. Subtle Vignette. And I can adjust the amount of brightness and darkness on the vignette and also where the midpoint falls. So I'm going to increase that and the feathering. And just to be safe, I don't want it to fall on my sand, so I'm just going to mask those portions out. Darken it up a little bit. And there you have it. So now the only thing to do is hit Apply. And watch as it applies all the changes that I've made to my picture as it goes back into the Layers Viewing option. Okay, now we're back in the layers view and I can turn this on and off and you can see what exactly I did to the image. Okay, so now I'm back in the layers view and if there's something I don't like, for instance, I can always come in and mask it out, even in this view. So I'm going to hit paint out, which I've already got selected. I'm going to feather it off, probably about 75%. And then I'm going to make the opacity about 25 five percent here and using my bracket key I'm going to increase the size and I'm just gonna take some of that darkness off the sky so it blends a little easier and the bottom and I think that looks good again I'm clicking on and off so you can see it and now all that's left to do is hit save as that's it thank you